into it and probably i'll also try it with bobo <laughs> oh my god hi guys so you're welcome back to another saga of this week today is saturday and i was supposed to make this video yesterday but there has not been light and please ignore this my wig I, I i didn't want to come with my weaving and i tried cutting it but then it's not just coming through for me like i'm tired so you guys should just take me like that i'm not really a fan of wig makeup stuff so just manage me like that so welcome to my channel before i start uh all this my yeah yeah ranting please i'm very sorry you guys are the only ones i can talk to about all this kind of stuff so just accept me like that so welcome to my channel make sure you drop a comment before you leave please i'm begging you i need your comments like i really need your comments so i will know if i'm doing something right or if i need to change some things do you understand thank you so much so let's start the topic of today which is bdsm i'm very sure most of you will be like what's bdsm if me myself go i'm innocent i don't know anything about it but it's a lie i'm not innocent i'm not innocent at all i know about it i've been hearing about it like like how many years now i've been hearing about it so i was like let me just come here today and come and give you my own perspective about the old bdsm of a thing because it was trending on twitter last week yeah i think was it last week or yesterday i saw it yesterday and i was like okay let me just give my view about it and this is it bdsm in case you don't know about it let me just give you the full like what does bdsm mean bdsm means that b stand b stands for bondage d stands for discipline s stand for sadism is it sadism i'll call it that be sadism i don't know you know all these people all the sadists now sadism then m start for masochism so that's the full meaning of bdsm so i want us to be picking it one by one so that you'll be able to understand my own perspective about it i am not here to judge anybody i'm not here to say oh what you're doing is bad oh you're not supposed to be doing this oh a christian is not supposed to be doing this i'm not here to say all that i just want to talk based on what me i see as love and also what the full meaning on its own self is saying so let's start with um b which is bonded like seriously like seriously do we have to be in bondage before you can feel um sexual pleasures from your partner like really like like really like bondage like bondage so why did why did god set us free why did god send jesus i'm not here to preach oh I'm, I'm just saying sex is something that um the both parties are supposed to enjoy like it's supposed to be a pleasure and what is pleasure something that like it's something that gives you like you're just happy you're just happy about it so why should i be in bondage to enjoy that so let's move to the next one which is discipline like why the hell do i have to have sex and be disciplined about it like why do somebody have to dis discipline me before i can enjoy sex or why do i have to put myself in um a kind of position whereby someone will feel as if is treating my fuck up before he can feel sexual pleasures from me do, do you understand like do, I, I i i sincerely again i'm not here to judge anybody i'm just here to talk about it so let's move to the next one sadism like sadism means that like you know what this food they call sadist now it means like all these people that they don't they're not just happy they're not just happy they're just sad people yeah the the first the first um alphabet same like like sad that's sad meaning that if if you are actually having bdsm is it that you people are sad about your sex life <laughs> are you people sad about your sex life or or you have another meaning to it and then the next the last one which is m masochism masochism means that you are inflicting pain on somebody and you are deriving sexual pleasure from it like what the hell how 
to do tour research on this thing before I actually came here to talk about it. And I was like, really? People are really going through a lot though. Like a lot. Like serious, a lot. Like, why do I have to be in bondage? Why do I have to be sad? Why do you have to put pain on me before you will enjoy sex? I know a lot of people will be like, eh, it's just the spice of sex life. Yes, you can you can actually do things to spice up your sex life, but do you have to be in pain for it? You are spicing things up, meaning that you are trying to make the marriage work, you are trying to make the relationship work. So why do you have to be sad? Why do you have to cry? Why do you have to be weeping before your husband or before your wife? We actually know that, oh, I can feel sexual pleasure from this, from this um, process or anything. So me, I just, I just feel like, I feel like, um, I just, I just feel like this whole thing is just so scary. When you, when you even see the pictures, like when you see the pictures, when you see the way they, like, they put them in bondage, like the way they use rope to tie their hand, the way they just, the way you bend down and they handcuff you, even on the normal day, self, eh, if you sleep on your hand and you wake up the next day, the kind of pain you'll be feeling, self, is crazy. Not to talk of somebody actually putting you in that position intentionally. It's just as if somebody kidnapped you. Like, I, sincerely, I don't, I don't know, I don't even know what to say, but it's just like somebody kidnapped you. And then you 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 are happy about it, and you feel like oh this person kidnapped me. I'm happy about it. That's just it. Like why do why 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 do I have to be in bondage for my partner to come? Is it come? Yeah, because when you derive sexual pleasure from something, that thing will actually make you come. So why do you have to whip me? Whip me, my neck, my bum bum, my breast, my everything. Before you actually feel sexually aroused. Before you feel like, oh, I am doing something. There are actually some ladies though. There are actually some ladies that they actually like being submissive. They like being submissive and there are some men that like being dominant. Like submissive, like um, they like it when you instruct them on what to do yeah like the guy asks you shut them oh yeah bend down oh yeah do this yes it, it turns some lady on yeah like they, they feel like oh he's instructing me let me do it when you guys are on bed when it's time for sex when he does that it's actually very sweet but if he instructs me to bend down and i do all those things do we still have to introduce bdsm into it so far you can instruct me to do things and i do it so why do you have to whip me for it? Why do you have to use anchor for me? Why do you have to do all those kind of things? There are a lot of things to spice up sex life. Like you guys can do um role play. Like um that means when the lady will dress like a school girl and you can dress like a school boy, or you guys can dress like a show, or there are just a lot of things, or a policeman and a policewoman. Like there are a lot of things to do to spice up sex life, like role play. You guys just do a lot of things together. Do you get? At that moment when you feel like um, the lady has to listen to your instruction, there are ways you can do it too. Like, babe, spread your leg. <laughs> like, babe, bend down. Like, babe, do this. Babe, cough like this. You know, you can do all those things. You don't have to introduce bondage into this matter. Okay, now imagine. Now imagine. Let's imagine that in the process, eh, you now died. Maybe the process of him be beating you and then you are screaming, you are in pain, but it feels like you are enjoying it. And because he's the one actually is the one that actually wanted to derive sexual pleasure from it, it feels like you are enjoying it, and then you died in the process. What are you gonna tell God? That God, I was having sex and I died. Like really, what it's just like why it's just that that first that first mean itself, the bondage. It's just like bondage. Like so, why, why, why did they, why did they crucify Jesus for our sake? He's supposed to be free from all sins and bondage now. So now, intentionally, we are even putting ourselves into bondage just because we want to spice up sex life. When there are other things you can do that can spice it up, like even in Fifty Shades of Grey, obviously the guy needs help. Like, obviously, it's so obvious that the guy needs help. Like, he's so addicted. Like, you have to do it every day. He needs help. So, 
and i am not saying i am not saying you shouldn't do it if you feel like it right that that's where um you guys have to be mature about it like you guys have to agree about it okay babe should we do this for example now maybe i'm dating somebody babe do you want us to do it if it's up if you want to do it and i also want to do it yeah that's cool but when it comes to a situation whereby the guy is actually the one forcing you to do it that's an abuse already like he will be beating you and you're not happy about it but because you want to satisfy him you feel like you should do it there are some times that in relationships some things are not even worth compromising for and this is not nobody should start saying and hey, you have to compromise and hey, you want it you have to do it no this is you this is your life you should come first you should think about yourself first after the whipping and everything who will have all the pain who, who, who will have all the pain or the mark all the mark from the whipping that will be whipping you'll be whipping your bum bum all the mark is not going to be on your body it's only just go to the pharmacy and go and get you drug but who go feel the pain now you know like it's just pain even even people that likes rough rough sex safe i can like that one is still okay because you're not in bondage you guys agreed to have sex but then this one is different you will, you will, they will bind your heart like this and you will bend down they'll be beating you they'll be having sex with you that's like slavery to me like that's like slavery so like i said earlier i'm not here to judge anybody i'm just here to like drop my view about it i'm just here to drop my my own perspective about it i am not here to judge anybody so don't think i'm here to judge i'm here, i'm just here to say that it's slavery to me it's not worth it yeah yes another point it is not worth it at all it is not worth it after after all the pain and all the guy will come you you, you might not even you might not even come safe because you are in pain and it's not possible for you to be in pain and still feel pleasure or possible the two cannot work together they have to work separately so it's the person that is beating you that is going to derive pleasure from it you you are not going to derive pleasure from it unless you love him that crazily that you feel like his happiness is also your happiness but still within you you are not happy so what's the point of trying it so you guys should just drop what what is also your own view what is your own perspective about it as well drop comments for me in the in the, in the comment section and let's see if we are going to like be on the same page or if i need to learn something as well because i'm open to learning my dear so if you feel like what i'm saying is wrong you feel like bdsm is something that is sweet that is different from what i'm reading or from what i have seen in videos you think i'm saying nonsense please i stand to be corrected correct me and i will make sure i key into it and probably i'll also try to bubble <laughs> So thank you guys so much thank you so 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 much for watching i hope it is worth your little time i just hope this video will not be up to 10 minutes yeah, because i was just like let me just here to talk and i'll just leave make sure you drop a comment make sure you share and make sure you subscribe like you guys should just subscribe when are we going to reach 500 and when we reach 500 i'm going to do giveaway so you guys should do that for me okay bye